How's it going guys? I'm Tim. And I'm Dylan. We have another Not Your Average Beer Review for you today. We have Evil Twin Brewing's Sour Bikini for you. So we told you we wanted to try more sours and we're back with another one. Yeah, we kind of got hooked after Sour Monkey. We've yeah. been hunting them down. Well, yeah, not really. You found this. Well, I was looking for it. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> he was looking at the Evil Twin section. So I was. he wasn't looking that hard. Because it was sections of beer. It looks far hazier than the last one did. I don't know if you can see that on camera because of the glare from the sunlight, but... 3% alcohol by volume. And it smells like pure lemon. There's it no does. other smells in the smell. We, we, sorry, we snuck it in. <laughs> you could literally drink this entire bomber and it would be like drinking one beer. I don't think you'd want to with a sour. Probably not, in all honesty. I'd rather have a sour be higher alcohol so I can only have fucking one of them. Mm -hmm. But I guess not, that might change after today, who knows. Oh yeah. I think we should smell it. We already did, but fuck it. I, mean, I haven't smelled it yet. Yeah. Oh! Uh, Ooh! See, I make a bad face, but I love the smell. I make my face, I make fucking. Like, I hate it, but it's great. It's actually a really great smell. I make the same sm like, s face when I smell a really good stout. You know, that ooh, blown away face? Like, whoa. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells really similar to Sour Monkey, except it's more lemon than grape in the nose. Yeah. I'd say that. The grape probably came just from the sweetness of the alcohol. I think so. But, uh, I don't think we should ramble on too long. Probably not. I mean, it's... Smells pretty much. I think most of it's in the taste. Uh, yeah. To be so, without further ado. Hmm. Oh. It's oh. It's. Hold on. It's got more staying sour, I think, than Sour Monkey did. This one, the aftertaste is all sour. You you drink it, and there's not really a whole lot of sour on the tongue, and then you swallow, and it's just like. <laughs> It stays with you forever instead of being this one this huge yeah. pulse of it at once. I don't think it's as sour overall, but it stays with it lingers. <laughs> it's, not, it's really hazy. It is. I can kind of feel how hazy it is when I swallow. <laughs> you can feel the haze on your swallow? I mean, maybe. Oh yeah. Either that or it's massively carbonated. It's like lime sour. Yes. This, it has no alcohol. Oh, yeah. And it's not it's carbonated sour, that right? much. It's pure sour. But what I'm getting at is that it has a decent amount of body still. No, it's not. It's not watery. It isn't like drinking water like you would expect a low ABV, low I carbonation think, um, I beer to be. I think some of the haze and like the sediment has a little bit to do with that. I think so too. I think it adds a little bit of that full flavored mouth feel. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess we'll find out more. We will. We drink a lot more. We're gonna it. let it sit for a minute, and we'll come back to you guys after we drink it a little bit. Literally can't see through that at all. It's kind of fucked. Well, that would be good. Are, you, are sour. you getting kind of a breadiness in it too? Yeah, but it also gets more punchy in the sour as it, it goes. It does. Through. I didn't taste the bread off the bat. Well, I think that's just part of the sour taste. It tastes like fucking juice. Yeah. I mean, sour like lemon juice. Well, yeah, but like, you, see, you make the same face every time. <laughs> I believe it. It's really sour. The aftertaste it, is sour. Yes, it gets more sour as it sits. And it doesn't hit you until you swallow. And then once you swallow, it's your tongue... <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh my god. You just got, like, kamikaze in the face. You'll try it and you'll be like... <gasps> you totally can because there's no alcohol taste at all. No, but even you, don't, even, you don't notice the alcohol if there was any because the sour will make you be like... <laughs> I make the same face every time I drink it. It's like... It's that sour. Oh my god. <laughs> that is sour. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just, I just laughed. The beers are fucking expensive. I don't care about the expensive beers. So I don't like either. It. I mean, I care if I'm, buying, if I'm buying a fucking four pack. I, can't. I paid 16 for that smoked porter. Dear fucking god. It's 9%, 9.8. That's true. I don't even want to know what a four pack of Molotov cocktail would run. I think it ran 20. The single you bought me was 560. Was it real? Yeah. God. Yeah, you bought me that, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you also bought me an espresso stout, which was $6.80. Was it? Yeah. God damn. I should have told you, don't buy anything $7, but I didn't think they existed. Beers that are really good, I don't care about care about paying that much money, but those beers that are really good, I'm not going to drink a ton of in one night. Alright guys, so we're back for our final chug. We've been drinking it for probably 20-25 minutes. 
it has consistently been just more and more sour as it goes sour, on. So we're gonna finish tired. it really quick it because smacks, it smacks you in the fucking face. It does. It kicks you in the balls and pushes you to the ground. I don't think I want to drink this beer warm. This would be a beer that you should start cold because I would love to see it get more sour. I'm glad this as wasn't our first down. sour either. No. I'm glad this was not our first sour. It set a much higher bar than Sour Monkey. Sour Monkey was a fantastic beer, but this is better. Very different. Very different. But I don't think I could have handled this as my first sour. Right, without further ado. Ooh. Okay, more than I did. Ah. That's so sour. That is so sour. Oh, I took a big sip, but it wasn't that sour. No, it's it's the gulp at the very end. I took a sh no, like I I slammed that whole thing, and, and it, it was wasn't. Not. Maybe your taste buds just are soured out for now. <laughs> Maybe I like them more than you. Maybe. Maybe I'm more used to them right now, at least. Maybe that's actually probably true, but no. So, uh, so much lemon notes, I, so much bread at uh, times. To be, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a rating. Go ahead, dude. We already said what we could say we about did. it. We did. Um. Let's see, 96, maybe 97 actually, it, it was close to 100, it was damn close, actually fuck 98. 98, you're just, you're just raising it stay and raising at, it? Stay at 98. Okay, yeah. comfortably at 98. There's, there's a wall here. There's a wall. To get a 99 and up you have to, yep. you have to work a little bit harder. <laughs> anyway, yours. Uh, I'm going to give it a 96. Okay. That's it for us? Yeah. It was an amazing beer. Go it out was. And go out and buy it if you can. It's kind of rare. I mean, we've seen it in four packs, and then I got this bomber of it. It's it's mostly a it's a what's the word? Limited series. So get it while you can. Oh, you're pouring the rest of it out. All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you guys later.